Well, ladies and gentlemen, as promised, I have brought an expert. I have brought someone to take away that middleman so that you don't have to go searching any further. Uh, we have Michael from Braden Consulting. Thank you very much for joining us today. Hello, Dan. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, it's a great pleasure. Yes. So I want to let everybody know that in this episode, we're going to be talking about the most important topics. Uh, we got together and we decided, hey, these are the things that everybody's asking. So we want to get straight into it. We want to talk about one of the most sought after things, visas. OK, everybody wants to know the different types of visas that they can get to travel to Russia. So could you please tell us the kind of the type of visas that your that your office uh, offers? Yeah, sure. Uh, well, let me just um, briefly explain what what types of visas are like. Um, well, there are short and long term visas. So let's say short term visas are like tourist business visas, uh, private visas also. And um, uh, long-term visas are student or work uh, visas uh, as well. Uh, the idea is that it always depends on your final goal. It, it always depends for how long would you like to stay in Russia and what is your purpose of stay. Uh, for example, if we're talking about short-term visas, well, here, uh, as our practice shows, that if you want to stay for about like yeah up to 90 days then it's better and easier to get a tourist visa so our service here would be issuing the uh, tourist in invitation and of course we'll provide our consultations of how to actually you know apply uh to the consulate service of russia in your home country uh right now uh, i wouldn't suggest to get a commercial a so-called business visa because it's you know uh if you would like to visit Russia for uh, yeah, business related purposes, then uh, the inviting party must be a, a, a company, a real company. So we're, yeah, uh, here, I think that is better just to use the uh, tourist visa if you want to just spend here like 90 days or something like this. Also, by the way, let me just uh, uh, note here that only US citizens can get a tourist visa issued for three years so yeah, yeah. you can spend here uh for like 180 days uh then you can exit and return to russia and then again uh spend uh, uh, the same period of 180 days well other citizens from other countries uh mostly they can only spend here 90 days with a tourist visa this is the short term visa and of course uh, when we're talking about long-term term visas again it's all uh, always depends on your final goal uh, if you would like to you know uh, learn Russian language then uh, Russian uh, language course as a student visa would be you know the, the, the best one uh, and yeah uh, about work uh, visas uh, if you have an employer who's willing to hire you officially uh, that this company can issue a work invitation and with a law firm uh, can help with a three-year highly qualified specialist work visa. Uh, with this type of visa, you can bring all your family members uh, together with you sim simultaneously. So this is just the, you know, the brief information of uh, visa types of the main visa types. That's really cool how you broke it down from the short term to long term. Guys, pay attention to this because it's obviously not everybody's life is heading in the, the same direction. So if you're looking to come visit Russia and explore the cities, you know, and do actual tourist things, then you need a short term visa. But when it comes to like people like me, who is an American, like he said, you can stay up to six months. This is an insane amount. I've never seen this much time for other visas and Americans could have it for three years. Um, that's the visa that I came with into Russia. Uh, I had a, another question. You said that you can help people get it even though they're in their uh, native country. Is this what I heard right? You can yeah, yeah, process sure. this? Yes, sure. Uh, let me just yeah uh, explain you 
again briefly because we can just you know uh, talk on and on about all these uh, you know aspects. Uh, of course, if you're outside of Russia, so let's say you're you're in the U.S. or uh, I, I don't know uh, you're you're in EU, Germany, Philippines, you name it. Uh, our job here is to issue a, a certain invitation. Right, so well, the, the the easiest one is a tourist invitation because we have certain partners. Uh, because the this invitation, this voucher, can only be issued by an um, a, a company with the accreditation as a tourist agency. Uh, we, we we have a wide uh, range of partners. So in in this case, we just need you know one two business days to issue the uh, tourist invitation. So thus, we would send you the PDF file, which is actually the um, uh, invitation and then uh, normally after signing the contract and receiving the payment uh, we create a work group chat in telegram or whatsapp uh, with my colleagues who will accompany you in, in in this group so basically if you would like to yeah fill out the um, online application so we can help in this regard of course no worries and uh, yeah about the student uh, uh, invitation right here the inviting party is the uh, university uh, and we have different universities our partners in different cities of russia uh, with different programs actually and uh, yeah as our practice shows uh, well from the legal point of view uh, the ministry of internal affairs needs uh, 21 business days in order to approve uh, the uh, invitation itself which which is issued by the uh, university and our practice shows that uh, we need around you know 10 weeks approximately eight to ten weeks uh, to get the ready-made invitation so for example if you would like to uh, join a Russian language course in Moscow uh, then we should start the procedure in June so thus you would get your ready-made invitation by August so that means that you'll get your uh, yeah, uh, invitation in, in digital form. That means that uh, you can, uh, you know, contact Russian consulate service right away for stamping your visa. By the way, first you, you'll get your 90 days single entry visa, uh, a student single entry visa. Then when you arrive to Russia, uh, you'll have to uh, stamp your multiple entry visa for the rest of the period. So this is how it's done with the student visas. Uh, so of course, if, if you're abroad, we will uh, accompany uh, the whole procedure in our work group chat. That's that's really good. So listen, to summarize the visa, my friends, you heard the type of visas that they help uh, process. You just need to figure out what works best for you. Do not go around asking people, how did you do it? How did you do it? You need to figure out what you want and you need to get the right consulting and they can gear you in the right direction. Don't go out looking for ways that other people did it, okay? Okay, that's really good information. Just remember that you can do this outside of Russia and I'm assuming that you could also help people renew and uh, all their visas while they're inside of Russia, correct? That's absolutely correct. And here, let, let me just tell you one important thing. So um, let's say you've got your tourist visa and you would like to get a student or a work visa, just switch the type of visa. Uh, well, according to Russian legislation, if you want to get another type of visa, then you can uh, stamp a new type of visa only in your home country. So you would need to go back. So here, again, we, each, each case is unique and we always have to decide, right, um, what, what, what you really need. Uh, but yeah, and also short-term visas, I mean like uh, private uh, visas, the, uh, the tourist and business visas, commercial ones, they cannot be prolonged. So you can uh, prolong your long-term visa, which are, uh, yeah, a, stu a student or a work visa. Also, there, there is a thing that is called a family visa. Uh, it is a private visa, but it's issued for family members. So for example, if you're married to a Russian citizen, that means that you can get your one-year family visa and not the uh, like private visa issued only for 90 days. Mm -hmm. uh, so yes, the, the idea is that of course we can prolong your um, current visa, like stamp you uh, the same type of visa. This is the most important part.
That's awesome. Guys, that's that's uh, about all the information you need right now on the surface. Again, this information, if you need more, you need to contact them. And that's why we're making this video. Now we're going to move on to another very important topic, driving in Russia. A lot of you guys are always asking, can I drive in Russia? Uh, is it legal for me to drive? Um, I understand that there's different rules to uh, driving in Russia. So let's talk about the different types of licenses that you can use while you're in Russia. Well, actually, having your foreign driver's license, you can just uh, make the notarized tr translation of uh, your license and just, you know, drive here in Russia. Also, if you have your permanent residency, then you can just exchange your driver's license without passing you know, uh, any uh, exams, any tests. Uh, but yeah, since it's uh, it's called GAI in uh, Russian language, uh, the inspection itself. And uh, yeah, the, um, it, it may be challenging to just go there and say, hey, I've got my VNJ, my permanent residency. So here are my, you know, foreign drug driver's license. Please give me a, a Russian ones. They may not be so, uh, how, should I put it like updated, right? Uh, <laughs> so they they may ask you some some questions because well your your uh, your country your home country must um, be in this treaty uh, under this driver's license thing, and if you would pr provide some sort of you know uh, maybe a link to like Wikipedia or something like this, then they they'll, they'll be just fine because that what we've received as a feedback from from our uh clients uh but here of course our consultations are always free and we'll be happy to help you if, if you need any sort of you know clarification about this particular aspect of living in, in, in russia we'll be happy to help you that's awesome well thank you so much uh for answering that bonus question because actually we've been through so much already and i know that if you had a question guys you just need to look back in this video and listen a little bit more carefully because we answered the most frequently asked questions like you wouldn't believe it's been amazing you know listening to things and getting reassurance that you know there's different roads there's not only one road, the path that I took, and I keep saying it is not the path that you're going to take. If you want to learn Russian, if you want to come and study in Russia, there's a way for you. If you want to work in Russia and you want to uh, just work, but don't worry about residency and citizenship, there's employment here for you in Russia. There's also different uh, ways of getting different types of residencies, okay? And you just need to pay attention. And like we saw uh, Michael tell us that the consultation is free and then you can get move on to the kind of things that you need. Well, guys, if you need any more information, I'm gonna give Michael the stage so he can give you all of the contact information that you may need so that you can get out there and get your questions answered. Um, thanks. Thanks, Dan. Um, you can find us in Telegram group, uh, Braden C Consulting, Braden Channel Telegram group, as well as in uh, YouTube. You, you can check out our videos uh, about mi migration and all other legal issues. Uh, you can join our Facebook group and, uh, and of course, you, you can visit our website. Uh, we've been providing legal, legal accounting and all related services since 2008 and uh, we'll be really happy uh, to help you uh, move into Russia if you're planning to uh, live here or if you're all already in, in Russia we'll be uh, really happy uh, to help uh, with all legal issues uh, yeah let's say if, if you want to be represented in the court uh, or like yeah we, we have different departments uh, like a registration the department of the um, legal entity uh, we can sell your legal entity here in Russia uh, of course we can provide legal services related to family law etc etc so uh, basically please contact us as I already uh, told you that we provide our uh, consultations for free um, so just yeah um, contact us and uh, we'll uh, we'll provide you all this services um dan thank you so much uh, for having me it's it's uh, been a pleasure
Thank yeah, you so definitely. Much. All the links that you uh, that he's going, all, everything he talked about will be linked down below. But you can also okay. talk to me directly because I can give you their information and I'm going to send everybody over to them because we don't need any more middleman guys. This is it. This is uh, this is it. This is the last stop you need for everything to do with Russia. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, Biden.